Okay, this is uh, 1419 uh, Kurtz Street. Uh, this is in uh, an area of the Oceanside called Fire Mountain. It's one of the better neighborhoods. As a matter of fact, the best neighborhood in Oceanside that is uh, just east of the Five. If uh, you're west of Five, you probably, uh, are, you're in South O. And you can see on the map that the freeway is just, uh, just on the other side of here. So you're just on the other side of the freeway. And it's uh, different from those cookie-cutter um, type of neighborhoods where all the houses kind of look the same. You can tell this is more of a beachy feel. This is kind of like the uh, type of neighborhood where, uh, where I live. So I'm just giving you the 360 here, the neighborhood, and the, uh, the access street. If you go down to that stop sign, you can barely see where that car just went by. You make a right, cross the freeway, boom, you're at the beach. Um, so, not sure this is the one, but uh, it's a little bit, uh, um, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to need a little bit of work. Um, to make it really nice, you have to do some yard work, but you don't get this kind of size of a house at this price point in, uh, in uh, Oceanside, this close to the beach in Fire Mountain. So, just real quickly, two-car garage here. You can see that the, uh, there's only a washing machine, no dryer. But the washer and dryer goes uh, out there in the garage, which is uh, somewhat standard. And the, the uh, water heater looks new. Um, and you can just see like those doors and stuff. Everything's pretty original in here. Um, now the yard, the one good thing is you don't have to do any real yard maintenance. Uh, but it's not the prettiest stuff in the world. So I'm just going to take you through here. And again, this place is huge. Now just real quickly pay attention to these windows I've taken. Uh, video of windows before. These are original windows. If you're gonna, you can keep them as is. Uh, you upgrade them. We're probably talking like five to seven grand for upgrading windows. Got some sweet stained glass on the front door. Okay, you'll walk in. Here's the entryway. Stairs are in front of you. I can't be 100% sure whether that stairs was an add-on or what it looks to me like if they, they, the upstairs was a part of an attic and it was an afterthought but they've done a real nice job with it, and it's in the tax records, which means it's permitted, okay? So you walk in, first thing left, bam, there's the, uh, there's your dining room. Uh, this is probably um, vinyl, vinyl planking on the floor, but that uh, looks, might be laminate, I'm not sure. Feels like laminate. Um, this is vinyl here in the, uh, in the kitchen. Um, looks nice because it looks like that uh, stone. Um, I'm a big fan of this kind of stuff. It's like the, the next upgrade from linoleum, um, but it's, if you drop a glass, it'll bounce as opposed to tile, which will break. Look, the kitchen needs uh, it needs paint, and um, these cabinets would just be either uh, refinished or put paint on them, put some hardware on them. I think that's pretty original stuff. Um, the stove top is an upgrade, so that's a, it's a nice uh, stove top. Looks almost exactly like the one we got. Um, these uh, the oven, uh, while small, you know, manageable. Uh, dishwasher, fridge, don't know if the fridge would stay or not. Um, doesn't really matter, but if it stays, great. Um, that thing's good and they, those, that little one's kind of run forever. Okay, so you got this dining area in here. This formal dining is nice. Um, this, could take it or leave it. I suppose that's a load-bearing wall, this wall here that I'm pointing out with these, uh, with these pillars. Um, it's a nice touch whether people would rather have it open or not. Uh, I don't know, but I suspect that that's a load-bearing beam right there, so you keep it. Um, fireplace over here. Uh, then this is your main downstairs living area. Okay. Um, and then out back here, again, nobody's done anything to upkeep the outside. So a very, uh, very, very um, beachy type of place. Um, the weeds in the backyard, nobody's kept it up. The fence looks like it's in okay shape. Uh, I did read that the fence is not on the property line. Your property line is actually down a little bit further from here. Um, so depending on, uh, you know, uh, what you do with this place, you can keep that as is, or you can trim the weeds once a month and let the kids play out here. This is a nice, uh, um, stamped concrete patio here that, uh, goes out to the, uh, front. You can just see stuff like this chain link fence on the outside. Not super nice, but, uh, I'm going to go back in now and just show you around the downstairs. So just to get bearings again, that's the front door we came in, and then the stairs right in front of you. So you, as you walk towards the stairs, you turn right, and there's three bedrooms down here. Um, there's one bedroom here. I'll just give you a quick look. 
and there is another bedroom here. Good sized bedrooms. And then the uh, hall bath. So, this is nice enough. The cabinet's look in good shape, sink looks in good shape. The tub's a little old and beat up, but uh, it's not really a major problem. Okay, and then this is the downstairs master. Um, so, and then you have the ocean peak view, you can't see it. So there's the house right behind you. If you look just to the right of the house where that tall tree is, there, that's the ocean out there. Okay, then you got your closet. This is your uh, your master, master bath that's attached to the master down here. Uh, only a shower, no tub in the master. Oh, not a major deal, I don't think. Okay, now we're gonna go upstairs and this is the part where I can't really tell. So three beds down here. This is the part where I can't really tell if this was an add-on, formerly an attic. Um, but uh, well, they've done a nice job with it, and it's, it's uh, included in the square footage. I might have said that already, so it's, that means it's permitted, so we don't have any problems with that. Uh, so you come up here, and this is what I imagine might be the, uh, the add-on, like the old attic. So there's two rooms up here. So you come up the stairs, you go to your left. There's a huge uh, uh, bedroom here, and then you got these chairs set up here. You can see out in the distance, you got the uh, the ocean view. For people who care about that, it's not much of an ocean view. There's no white water, but uh, they'll call that like peak ocean, I guess. And then, uh, then on this side, they have it set up as another uh, rec room kind of thing. So uh, TVs, TV couches, and then again from these windows here, you can uh, you can see the ocean out there. Overall, it's a it's a it's a great space. It does need some work to be upgraded, but uh, you know we could we could pull that together if you're interested on in, on on bidding on this about how much it's normally going to cost. Usually I'll say budget like uh, you know six to five to six to eight, um, but uh, this one depending on if you want to upgrade the windows or not, I would say we're probably looking at more closer to ten ten to twelve if you're going to do the windows, maybe even uh, closer to fifteen. So the main stuff needs to be done, paint. Uh, the carpet is is uh, is manageable. Um, it's, pr it's practically brand new. I think they've just put it in here. They picked a crappy color, but um, so you need paint. Uh, I know Diana's going to hate these uh, stained glass windows. Uh, you're obviously going to need paint in the uh, in the kitchen. A little cabinet work. The popcorn on the ceiling here, but there's not a lot of it through the uh, through the original downstairs there. So all looks good, man. It's uh, I'll have to go back and check the square footage. I think it's like 26. Hundred, uh, that's kind of unheard of in this neighborhood by the beach. So, uh, just depends on whether you can get um, you can get uh, higher rent for an older place like this. We'll check it out. Okay, thanks.